Public service announcement from about a year ago, I was alerted to the existence of the Instagram page, Lords of Property. Figured out what it is yet? No, because you're a dum-dum? All right, well, I'll fill in the blanks. Lords of Property is in reference to real estate agents, so great nickname for them straight off the bar. All of the blue suits that should only be wearing those suits exclusively to the Melbourne Cup, but nope, that's their uniform. And as we will see in the coming video, it will and truly is. It's like they all went to the same school of, if I don't have a gold watch, do I exist? Dare I take it off and nah! Well, you know the drill of this, we're going to be laughing at a profession that gets picked on quite a lot and also with pretty damn good reason as well. Hey, if you know another profession that we should make fun of, write it in the comments. I like doing skits. I like pretending that I'm 18. All right, so let's do it. Calls, 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 few appointments and now I'm here with you, Laura. Nice. Where are we today? Oh! 704 at 108 Bay Street, Port Melbourne. Yes. This is the less famous pixie mascot that I've been warned about. There is one that always just gets brought up. He must know what he's doing at this point. Look, you can't be that short, get this many videos about you done, and not go in for that extremely invasive, shin-shattering surgery just to make yourself two inches taller. You need to do it just to be on par with the short guy from Lux. This man is that man's midget jester entertainer. That's how small he is. So, I, I've just got another cracker of a listing in for on the bay, development on the waterfront down at Gleeps. We've got to get the poker night together this Friday because this one's going to sell quick. Mate, it's got a fantastic pool, gym, spa. Tell Davo he can use the gym. But tell him if he gets asked, he's one of the owner's personal trainers. Okay. <laughs> All right, mate. And look, get Johnny to stop by the fish markets and grab some prawns and some pizzas. And we'll have a few on the deck. Or we can go out to the winter courtyard. Looking forward to it. All right, mate. See you Friday. Right. You got <laughs> I've got an open house in 20 minutes. <laughs> well, what's there to fault in that? That was better than the vast majority of YouTube skits I've ever seen. That man is a creative genius. It's just I don't know why he was... Putting his creative outlet into a multi-million dollar property of obviously what is a Hong Kong investor. I don't know why he agreed to that. I can only assume it's because he has so many properties that he doesn't even know that that property is getting sold. <laughs> because could you imagine looking at that and being like, Yes, yes, I approve of this Benny Hill inspired skit. I don't know what Benny Hill is, but I assume it's hilarious if this is the Coles brand knockoff. Huge living area, or you've got your very own dance floor. Jesus Christ, is this Daryl Summers' brother? Who has a microphone like that anymore with the big afro over the front of it? Hey, he's not bad! Go, son! No, I stand corrected. That's not Daryl Summers. That is one of those Jackson 5 impersonators when Hey Hey and Saturday briefly came back and then they got an American judge on the talent quest where he says, are you guys wearing blackface? And then Channel 9 soon had to moonwalk that off air. I was part of that living at 8 Robinson Avenue. It's just figuring out after a long, hard day. God, this video needs that 70s microphone. The sound is terrible in this. It must be near a highway. It's work. We're the best place to... Oh, no, hang on, hang on. for me, it's right He's here done in the it! Park. He's in a spa, indoors, in a suit. What more do you want? Lords of Property, check it out. I have never been more excited about an Instagram page before. I honestly thought that Instagram was all just for women to look at other women and be like, Fuck her, she's got a better life. But no, there is some comedy there as well. Good for them. <laughs> ah, oh, speaking oh, of comedy! He's taken Friendly Geordie's patented theory of comedy and taken it to the next level. An Indian man dressed as an Irishman. And it's obvious you can't get done for cultural appropriation either. That's my boy. Now dance. Dance like the little leprechaun you are. What are you going to tell us about this monstrously ugly house? I really do understand why you need to sell this with some more creative flair. It's situated on an extra wide frontage of around 21 metres. <laughs> what a naughty little leprechaun.
<laughs> I really don't understand who approves these things. It has him shaking his ass in public and then humping the house. You would have to imagine that the people that own these are leprechauns looking at that behavior and thinking, What? What? That's not mischievous behavior. That's just being a leprechaun. This right here is known as the Dublin handshake. Excellent straight appeal. And also <laughs> this prime location close to all amenity. <laughs> that shot of that bewildered Chinese man. I hope is acting. Maybe they did just get that guy to plonk down next to a random bus passenger and just obviously he is shocked because he is looking at a leprechaun. But assuming that he's an actor, that is hilarious for every reason other than why they intended it to be hilarious. Central bathroom, a long carport, think me lucky charms. Look at that, how did they get that effect going? You know how everybody is always saying, oh, anybody could be a real estate agent. You know what this is making me realize? Anyone could do my job. They are doing it better than all of the Australian YouTubers. I want to subscribe to this man's channel. Cheap costumes and cheap houses, subs, 260. See, I mean on the ground floor. It also consists of a large garage, perfect for the handyman, and to store all the potatoes. Oh my, yeah, potatoes, potatoes. <laughs> you know, I've always wondered what a real estate agent does in their entire week, apart from 10 a.m. on a Saturday. And now I know, and it is good to see that they are working. Can we just play him again, chanting potatoes, potatoes, over and over again, doing the little dance? Potatoes, potatoes, Come join me at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> For one, not two, but three pints. That's incredible. That's incredible. The fact that that exists means that there is either a handbook that says, make sure your videos stand out, to which I must say, sir, mission accomplished, or second, that man actually thinks he's a leprechaun. He's one of the other mental patients in that insane asylum in glass, but obviously had a very unimpressive superpower. It's Mawson Lakes under contract, and look who we have here, the man in black. Johnny Cash to perform his song, Jackson. We got a couple of questions here. What has Johnny Cash got to do with this? Just the fact that his last name is Cash. And second, uh, why is he singing going to Jackson when neither of the real estate's names are Jackson? Oh, no, wait. Yeah, wait. The, the, the street name is Jackson. My mistake. I'm sorry. I'm just transfixed by the fact that that man has that really red jarhead instructor of private! But he's not yelling. He's just miming and... Uh, He's getting really into it, isn't he? I don't know if he's being self-aware at this point. I, uh... No, 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 he's just having a good time and good on him. <laughs> this is promising. Oh, this is very good. <laughs> This location is rad, <laughs> it's funky and cool, <laughs> it's close to the plaza at every kind of school, <laughs> renovated, restored, <laughs> renewed, you'll be craving, set in the best part and heart of Ridge Haven, Ridge Haven is the place where you want to Alright, just think about this, I never thought about this before, every real estate agent wanted to be an artist. Now let's continue with that in mind. The kitchen's clean, <laughs> lines are very perceived. He's a chef, he's a master, or just wants to be seen. The second, Padol See, when you look at it from that frame, it goes from joke very quickly to... No, no, this actually was on a demo track that he put to Sony. He tried. Would you really want to save her? The land is so big, you fit in your tribe. It's large, square meters of 605. <laughs> His backup honey dancer is way too old and it's very obvious in what she's wearing because she is not wearing urban hip-hop clothing. Can we just, just focus on her for a second? That is... Yeah! My daughter liked Jessica Simpson! Can I borrow those clothes? How good is this? 
enjoying your favourite short macchiato in one of Melbourne's finest cafes here at Francis Winifred. <laughs> Why are you dressed like that, though? Of what could be your potential future home. You've got the Mooney Ponds Creek Trail literally at your doorstep. Such a subtle act. I'm a big fan of what? What? I'm just dressed up like a lobster, as you do in the middle of Melbourne's heartland. You know, Adam Bant's a lecturer. People like that, they dress like freaks. Not this much of a freak, I'm avant garde. It's, it's a character. I'll give him that. I'll show you just how close it is. Mm -hmm. Good, has the classic slow motion shot, at least that's in. Oh, and the fast speed up, of course, straight after that, we're into that. Probably not a good idea to fast motion the camera though when you just finish saying, I'll show you how close it is, but I'll allow it. It is the art form and he is playing with the form. <laughs> Record prices make a time, time. Quality service, lifelong service, clients for life. I mean, his act is definitely the best so far, but at the same time, what a c. We, we don't over promise, we over deliver. Zostage homes, luxury homes, booty homes. Uh, can I just ask you a question? Has anyone in the history of humanity ever shaved here and gelled here and not at some point gone to jail because of tax evasion? As you see me on the TV, as seen on all TV networks. Channel 7, Channel 9, Channel 10, SBS, yes, Sky yeah. News. Uh, look, I, I've never seen this man before, but I do know from the fact that he is on the morning show with Larry Emder and whatever her name is while they sit there being like, so have you got any property tips for us? Uh, well, yes, actually, I do. Thank you for asking. I don't know if a real estate agent has ever used such technical financial terms as this before, but the market is going okay, busters. Surely if you walked into that man's office right now and said, can you sell my house? He would say, yes, but I have a one o'clock and his one o'clock would be shredding papers for an hour. Especially in today's market. We love it. We don't tell him what you wanna hear. I never thought I'd find something that's more annoying than Bollywood rap, but I think we found it. A real estate agent doing Bollywood rap. Come on. A man in a really expensive suit doing this. It's dead still so I could spray the little water gun in the clown mouth. The ones we just watched, I was sent a year ago with the phrase, you won't be disappointed. I was not. And thank you very much. Sorry for the tardy delay. Now let's look at the contemporary gallery that we have on offer. This is just going to be a lucky dip. We're gonna pick one at random. Yep, this man that looks like he dreamed of being the coach for the Bulldogs looks promising. So I had a buyer on Saturday. Delayed the auction by 10 minutes while they're staring at the contract, doing their final look on the property. And I just went out and I said, guys, we're gonna start the auction now, you're right to go. And they said, yeah. I said, you're gonna have a bid on it? They said, yeah, we really like it. We want it. The only thing is, we just don't know how we're gonna fit our lounge in the living room. And I just stared at them. And I said, well, man, like, it's a $2 million house. Why wouldn't you worry about the house now and go to Brescia Furniture and get yourself a new sofa <laughs> after? <laughs> and the guy looked at me and he said, but we don't like Brescia Furniture. It's a hilarious story in its own right. Has that classic ethnic attitude of, I was like, are you for real, bro? It had that to it, so that was a nice little adage. I do like the fact that real estate agents are being smug about the attitudes of others when they are usually in that position themselves. So it's nice to see the old uh, Uno reverse card being used on the audience. That was a nice surprise. But also the fact that this man at the end of the day, really summarizes what a real estate agent's mentality is by, bro, are you serious? Like, why don't you just consume more? We just gouged you of about $500,000 of inflation bubble. What's another extra five grand on top of that? You're a fucking idiot. All right, let's see what else we've got. Well, he's in a promising starting position. Good form. I, I have rapped in a program. I did a Weird Weekends episode about rap. What is the obsession with real estate agents and rap? It's their favorite genre because they're the only ones that respect the hustle. Kings of the street. 
The rap that you did. My money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. I'd like to see you wiggle wiggle <laughs> for sure. It makes me want to dribble dribble. <laughs> These tits are sweaty. You know, riding in my Fiat, you really have to see it. Six feet two in a compact, no slack. But luckily the seats go back, I got a nap. Strike so hard. <laughs> zoom in on that man's face. I've never seen anyone concentrating so hard. You can zoom in on kids doing the HSE. There is less going on in their head than that man trying to wiggle his hips in a circle. Can we just digitally put a hula hoop around him? Whoa, look at him go! To relax in my mind, I'm some red, red wine. Nice. And of course, finishing it off with the universal symbol for a bong when referencing red wine. I don't know if this is just his G-rated rap version and it's being put over the top, kind of like Blue and Yellow Purple Hills by Eminem. There are some references to the fact that this song is a little bit darker. Maybe that's what's happening there. Or maybe this man shouldn't be rapping and doesn't know that that means bong. And I think we will end on that. <laughs> Make sure that you go to FriendlyGeordies.com Get yourself a Friendly Geordies official chill shirt I am touring across the nation So get your tickets to wherever you live I don't know, bloody Dungadoo I'll be performing there, who knows And I will see you next time And if you have any Instagram pages Or any other meme pages that you think I should check out I do like keeping abreast of this great brown land Seeing what it's up to in other industries other than politics So... Let me in on it, and I'll get back to you in about a year. Oh, and also, uh, muchas gracias to whoever came up with Lords of Property. You truly have done God's work, especially by highlighting that, oh my God, there are real estate agents that are even more leprechaun than the leprechaun. Let us know if you want us to do more Lords of Property. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And what's something else that uh, leprechauns say other than oi to toy to toy to toy? Oh, that's right, potatoes. And then he got really excited to dance. Can we just end on that? Potatoes, potatoes, <laughs> and, and then obviously we're gonna have to go back to the Indian rap. We're playing out on that. See you next time. First impression is the last impression. The world's fastest selling agent. Million dollar agent, million dollar homes. Record prices, record time, time. Quality service, lifelong service, clients for life. We don't overpromise, we over deliver. Zosty hoes, luxury hoes, boutique hoes.